There's travel. God bless America. And back down. And from there, we'll figure out whatever's next. Who says it's impassable? This was an action-packed adventure. On this trip to West Virginia, we traveled hundreds of feet below the earth, hundreds of feet above the earth, and almost 200 miles off-road along the earth. We camped at 4,000 feet, explored caves and observation towers at some of the finest gravel roads on the East Coast. When in West Virginia, I have a pepperoni roll, I guess. I can't tell if it goes down, like the ceiling comes down. Well, then it'll probably... Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, okay, see, yeah, we can definitely do this. This is fine. What is it actually? It's called Kness. It's got pineapple, nuts, and lemon stuff in it. You into that? Pineapple, nuts, and other stuff? I'm happy to oblige for that one. Yes. I can't hold my good They're all there too. Yeah, can't come to West Virginia and not have pepperoni. Blind, yeah, it's fine. Alright, everybody's getting pepperoni roll. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what else? <laughs> He's on a roll. This is where I get excited. It's mayhem. This, this is dangerous territory for me because there's just things everywhere that I want. What about the Mr. B's potato chips? The what? Where's the Mr. B's? Everybody delivers. See, I have to get all this stuff. Oh. We have no deliveries. That's kind of what I think. Oh, really? Alright, what else? In the ground, an open mouth thing. There's a sign up ahead, maybe that's it. I was gonna say, I, think I doubt I it. Like Probably says cow crossing. <laughs> but check out this area, this is so gorgeous. Up with crickets and wind. Of course, you can't see that. The sun is shining, and yet here's us in. Mountain Hardware, North Bay, another such winter garb. <laughs> We're about to get wet. We're about to go inside the earth. That sounded really gross. Oh, 
incredible. Last of the daylight here. <laughs> Into the deep. Water's not too bad. Let's go. Yeah, look at that. It's a good sized cave. Yeah. Oh, arrows. See the arrow? That away. Oh, it, oh. Huh. Lefty. Texture of this rock is crazy. This is definitely one of my favorite parts of the adventure. Going through the cave took us a little over two hours. I have no idea how much ground we covered, but every step was more amazing than the last. <laughs> the cave trolls. The ceiling comes down, but I also lose sight of the ground, so. Hey, you coming? Yeah, there's a room back here. Oh my god. The sides are rotten. Yeah, just in the time considering your headlamp just went out, huh? Yeah, headlamp died just as we saw daylight. I had another flashlight, but it's not as been as convenient. That's pretty crazy, so the water's down there. That's wild. There's so that is the wet exit, and I bet you it's just swim out. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, I'm kind of glad we didn't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John up ahead, I'm gonna say let's tear down. Oh, my Jeep can do that. 
I had done that before. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the pile of rocks that I stacked for stacking. If you made it this far into the video, chances are you're enjoying watching our adventures. I hope you'll consider subscribing, and I also do have a Patreon where you can contribute to help out with gas and other things to make these adventures possible. Keep it just like that. Although it doesn't look like it, the Wranglers had a little bit of trouble navigating this unstable and off-camber pass through the washout. Their short wheelbase and wide track width was much to their advantage, and my narrower track width and longer wheelbase was actually a hindrance this time. From the driver's seat, I had no idea how close I came to flopping my rig into this embankment. But watching the footage is a bit unsettling. Thankfully I came through it just fine and had no trouble climbing up the other side. observation tower that we're headed to. Made it. Super cool. The Olsen observation tower was originally built in 1922 and used by the Forest Service as a fire lookout. The 133 steps up an almost ladder-like staircase aren't the only breathtaking thing. At almost 3,800 feet at the top, the views are completely worth it. With the sun fast disappearing, we needed to find a place to camp and it seemed like it was just one closed gate after our next. At, at this point, it just appears like a closed gate. Yeah. Um. Mmm, pretzels. Mm, yes, I would like some, thank you. But when one gate closes, another one opens. If the top of this is anything like what I'm seeing now, the better. Oh my goodness. Austin was able to use Gaia GPS to find us an epic area at almost 4,000 feet. It's normally gated off most of the year. 
camp for the evening. My second birthday is now September 25th. <laughs> After some good food, some time around a campfire, and a great night of sleep, we wake up and continue the adventure. <laughs>